Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, The Next Big Thing, back again with yet another video for you. And within today's video, we're going to be analyzing behind who could be the possible culprit slash culprit of changing Eclipse's scroll within the archive. Within my very most previous analysis, I asked at the very end who could possibly be the person doing this or persons, and I said that I'm going to do it in a later video. And this is that video. Towards the end of the episode Total Eclipse of the Moon, it was revealed that Moon herself had a particular idea of who it could have been. So coming from that very little information that we got towards the ending of that episode, here are my suspects. We have River, Mina Loveberry, and possibly even the entire High Commission, or Glossark himself. Now to tell you the truth, I automatically X'd out River because I don't really see his intentions behind getting rid of that type of information. I feel like something as intensely valuable as this was immediately covered up right after Eclipse's crystallization. Which is why I feel like it was done by someone very close to the High Commission, or at least someone who knew about her crystallization. And most notably, a person that was actually able to know how to go inside of the archive. Or well, persons. Alright, this is starting to get really obvious, isn't it? Obviously, this condenses down to Mina Loveberry, the Magic High Commission, or at least one of the members of the High Commission, and Glossaric himself. Once again, like I say in almost half of my videos from now on, Glossaric basically doesn't have a side, and he pretty much was the one who said, Eclipso was the only one to leave him be and let him teach the magic that he knows. And I have been admittedly repeating that for a long time from now. But the thing is, it is a very important thing to mention in this video. Throughout the series, we haven't really seen too much evidence between him actually having a side or having any hatred towards monsters at all. I really don't see any advantages, let alone any care whatsoever as to why he would do that. No, I mean, for real, do you actually believe that Glossaric would edit something like that in the archive? He does not care. As long as the magic wand is intact and he has his corn Ritos with him, he he's perfectly fine 24 7. So with all that being said, let's just let's just move on to the Magic High Commission. That's what you really want me to get to. Now let me begin with something in this analysis about them, with something that I mentioned in the book analysis for Star Versus. Glossaric freaking created the Magic High Commission. That's basically his children. And they all have different traits from the other that make them do specific jobs. Hecapu is the forger of the scissors, and most of all, the protector of those dimension portals. Rombulus is supposed to be the big mighty tough guy of the group but also the most annoying one for some reason. Omnitrax's prime helps maintain the multiverse and space time and is also strangely the guy that uses clouds for underwear. But of course last but not least there is Lekman who was created so that Mumins would have an understanding of the impermanence of existence and was later revealed that by the end of season 2 he is able to actually put magic inside of others which sadly drains away his life energy as well. Now, of course, Moon was included within the Magic High Commission simply because she is the Queen of Muni, but, you know, she wasn't created by Glossaric himself. And coming from this most recent episode, not only was she not even able to get in the first time before Eclipsa mentioned the archive, but even Moon doesn't seem to be as low as to go and change Eclipsa's old history in her scroll. So now all we have left is the Magic High Commission and Mina Loveberry. So let's start off with good old psychotic mud sister Mina Loveberry. Sadly, we know little to anything about this character besides the fact that she used to be a pretty great warrior back then, which is what Starry remembers her as. And she was definitely a character that existed during Moon's reign as queen. So it's not like she's exactly a random character that just decided to pop up in season two. I'm pretty sure I believe that there were certain people that thought that Hainus was gonna be some minuscule character, but she ended up being someone extremely significant. I believe that there's definitely more to Mina Loveberry that we know so far, but I guess only time will tell in season three. So far, she's just some random warrior that pops out and just doesn't like monsters for some reason, but yet at the same time tries to escape when she realizes the royal guards and Romulus himself actually comes into the scene. And it is very much likely that she does know about the archive as well, since not only has she been around for years, I've been waiting hundreds of years 
but she was technically the person that found out about the secret cave underneath the monster temple. And the fact that she knew that Eclipsa was the mother of Hanus is something extremely weird, because this is information that Moon herself knew nothing about. And if the Magic High Commission truly did know about Meteora actually being Hanus, why didn't they just fire her from St. Olga's reform school? Unless they've been the one brainwashing her. What if, instead of sharing the same fate as her mother Eclipsa, they decided to keep her and actually brainwash her? Maybe that's why Meteora truly needs her revenge. Maybe this is why she was so upset after figuring out who she truly was. This is why the Magic High Commission was rushing so hard to make sure that no one was tampering with anything in the archive. And from what it seemed, it looked like Sean himself, the one that works inside of the Magic High Commission office knew nothing about that secret dungeon place. And once again, next to no one knew about the secret archive that they were having underneath the building except for Eclipsa. And then Moon actually freaking says herself that she did not have access to the Magic Royal archive. Well, I don't have access to the archive. Don't even know how to get there. What? She... You're the queen of Muni, for goodness sake. Now, okay, I don't know about you guys, but something about this entire situation does not sound right at all. The Magic High Commission just sounds like they're hiding something. I mean, they just really don't believe in monsters at all, and apparently they have no reason as to why they're against them. They couldn't even explain in the episode Stranger Danger as to why they were truly against Eclipsa or monsters in general. And when it comes down to the real hardcore facts and who else Moon could possibly be referring to within that episode, I was thinking about the Butterfly family, and when I rewatched Game of Flags, I don't feel like she could be referring to anyone in her family either. It just really sounds like someone in the High Commission or Mina Loveberry herself are the true culprits of this thing. And by the way Moon was saying it, it seemed like she was talking about a single person, someone either in the High Commission, one person, or possibly Mina Loveberry. But if I had specific people, I would say either Hecapu, Mina Loveberry, Lekment, or someone else with regular size arms. Arms. I mean, Omnitraxis Prime is way too big, Romulus has snake hands for hands, and as for Lekman, I guess I take it back now, I don't- I can't imagine Lekman doing that, and Moon wouldn't be referring to someone who's already passed away, I doubt it. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is between Hecapu and Mina Loveberry. And as for why Glosseric made his children to be a little bit more prejudiced on the monsters, I have no idea as to why, but perhaps within the episode Starfari, Goodwell actually was gonna say something important between the difference of monsters and humans. Or monsters and humans, my bad. But you know what, Dag Nabbit? Coming from my perspective, I still believe that the Magic High Commission spared Meteora but changed her name into Hanus, brainwashed her into becoming St. Olga's new headmistress, which would explain their secrecy with the Archive, their absolute hatred for Eclipsa and wanting to execute her so badly, alongside with as to why Romulus most likely did know about the Monster Temple but didn't tell Star anything about it. And yeah, it's true. Once again, Mina Love. Loveberry is definitely one of the suspects in my video, but I just truthfully don't have enough evidence against her to make something as big as the High Commission. I mean, the Magic High Commission... <sighs> okay, you know what? That's the end of this video. I really wish I could make more points against Mina Loveberry, but I couldn't find too much evidence about her that could possibly mean that she's the one behind this. The Magic High Commission definitely have more reasons to hide something like this more than she does, and hiding certain information in the archive would help them in the case for the trial of Eclipsa. I mean, not only did Moon in that episode say that herself, but I mean, it's kinda obvious. But anyways, as usual, with all that being said, subscribe to my channel if you still have not. Thank you all for your support, give this video a like if you like this theory, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!